What's going on, everybody? Welcome back here to the Pace Studio here in Midtown Manhattan, New York City, broadcasting to you live from the Manhattan Center as we do every single day. And we are joined right now by a very special guest. Really, really excited about this one. This is Roosevelt Collier. How are you, man? Thank Good, you so man. much, brother. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in. Um, there's a new record. This is your first solo album. It's called Exit 16. Yeah, uh, came out back in March. And you're in the city to play a show tonight at Le Pouzon Rouge. Yes. Uh, doors at 7 for everyone who's going down there. And we're lucky enough to get a little preview. Three songs uh, from Exit 16 we're going to hear today. Yeah, correct. Thank you so much for us, for, for yes, man. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, we're excited to hear these, man, uh, up close and personal. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to start off with today. All right. This, this first tune that we're playing is the title track, Exit 16, off the record. That's, yes, Exit 16. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go.
man, thank you so much. Yeah, man, thank you so. Much. That that was a lot of fun, man. Yeah, fun. Um, man. So that is the title track off uh, off this new record called Eds of Sixteen. Yes, sir. Uh, came out in March, and so you know, I wanted to ask you a little bit about this record, because uh, all right, so a little bit of background. I know that you were uh, you're brought up in the House of God Church down in Florida. House of God. Church. And that's and you're part of that sacred steel tradition, sacred steel, uh, where a inside. lot of music, pedal steel, lap steel, comes out of that sort of gospel uh, church music tradition. Correct. And so you know, I was talking to another guy uh, who came out of the same same church, different city. Uh, Robert Randolph, big yeah, exactly. big player that's, of the lap, that's, that's lap steel, pedal right steel. Yeah. And I know, like him, you were you know you were in that church and listening to that music and playing that music for many many years when you were growing up. Yeah. And then at some point, like him, there was a key that sort of unlocked all this other music outside of the church. Robert Randolph told me that he got this Stevie Ray Vaughan tape when he was like 17 Steve, years old Steve Ray Vaughan and it. listened to it for like two years straight. Yeah. And so I'm wondering, like, was there something that that unlocked this world of, you know, rock music, blues music, funk and soul outside of what you were hearing in the church that really brought you to sort of where you are today? Oh, yeah, man. So... So man, in church, man, my family, man, we used to play like, like uh, play all type of stuff in church, like uh, like uh, Michael Jackson and and um, and um, Stevie Wonder join yeah. join church service, and they didn't know what it was, but you know, like it was jamming. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you know what, man? Through my family, man, I had had deep, deep, um, deep, deep roots with like, you know, like you know, like other things. That's not gospel. Yeah. So, so yeah, man. I was I was kind of born into it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know when you came up playing, uh, you know, so you were playing with a lot of your relatives, your uncles and your cousins. There was a, a group called That's the Lee Boys. Boys. Yeah. Lee Boys. And uh, you know, if you know their music, for people who know their music, I always thought their music was it leaned a little bit more to the funk and R and B side. And then I listened to your stuff. Yeah. And it seems to go a little bit more to like the heavy blues. More to like the Hendrix, uh, yeah. like lead guitar kind of kind of style. Was there was there a point where you like followed a particular inspiration, kind of out a little bit less le funk music, more to sort of blues? Was was there someone who really kind of like inspired you the most? Man, like you know what that that there just just came with like you know what years of playing and you know just playing with like you know excuse me great great peoples like you know Derek Trucks and them, Warren Haynes and them, you know just just being around certain people, you know, and I mean, I just got this, this style just came like this. So, um, um, yeah, man, it's, it's more so of me playing around great guys, just yeah. like these guys here. Um, you know, so that's, that's, that's the base like of my playing, playing style. Yeah. There's yeah. a, you got, you got a real kind of like, there's a dirty kind of sound on a lot of parts of this album, especially on this, oh, this one song called Spike. Yeah. With like, it's got some real like feedback and some, some serious yeah. dirt in that riff. Yeah. So Spike was written by this, this great guy that y'all should know about. A name is Mike Lee right here, which also did, did this record. Um, yeah. So Mike, Spike is actually Mike's tune and. And well, we we wrote it together, but Mike was like, "Here, yeah, this there's his riff," and of course he he gave me some pedals. I'm gonna give him the credit for it. <laughs> and 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 yeah, that's that's kind of how that tune started, and it's very dirty. Yeah, so I have to give credit to uh, to this guy right here, the Mike Lee, on that tune because yeah. that's 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 really his 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 joint. Yeah, yeah. cool man. Um, Sorry, Mike. <laughs> So we're going to do a couple more songs here yeah. uh, with Ro Roosevelt Collier off the new record called Exit 16. Tell yeah. me a little bit about this next one. Okay, so this this next one is also written by Mike. It's called Could Have Been Could Have Been Bad. That is right. Thank you so much. All right.
Guys, thank you so much. Oh, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank you man. So, uh, Rosa, let me ask you one other thing. Yeah. Uh, I know you've been you've been playing with a lot of folks for a long time. You grew up in this. You played with crazy amount of people, like some of the guitarists you were talking about earlier. Right on. Uh, I think you've been playing shows out on your own since at least about, I don't know, 2000, 2001, somewhere around there. Yeah, well, yeah. It's been more like 2000, like eight or nine. So, so a, it, a decade. It's been, yeah. So, so I guess, you know, the question is how... How is it that we had to wait this long to get this album from Roosevelt Collar out front with your name on the cover My of it? My brother, because I wasn't ready yet. That's that. You know what, I man? It takes time. You know what, I man? The worst thing to do is, is just to rush and just throw out something just because. And I felt like this, this, this was the right time, you know? I man, I had a good guy, Michael Lee, again, came to me. And you know what, I man? Everything felt right. And you know what? This was the time for it. So, yeah, yeah man. So it's the songs, time, the songs on the record, were these ones that you've been sort of building up gradually over time, or yeah, did you sort of well, do it all in a in a spurt before this uh, when you went in to record? I'm gonna be truthful with you. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> it, it it was once upon a night before the recording session <laughs> that I went in and I sat down with Mike Lee and we had these ideas, and we went in. And we sat down and we played just like this, Bobby, JT, and Mike, and these songs just came to life. Yeah. And it was like that. And you knew that was going to be, like, you didn't need to do this for weeks no, ahead no, of time. absolutely not. You knew that lightning was going to strike? A absolutely not. Absolutely not. This this was just like that. Yeah? Yes, sir. All right, cool, man. Thank you. Uh, so we're here with Roosevelt Collier at the Pace Studio. Uh, we're listening to a bunch of songs all off of this new record. It's called Exit 16. came out back in March. Uh, so we're going to do one more today. Tell me about this last one. All right, this is the first track off the, um, off the um, album called Sun Up, Sun Down. <laughs> Once again, again, that's all right. This, you know? this is the first track <laughs> off of the Exit 16 record. Exit 16. Exit 16. <laughs>
that was amazing. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for playing today. Uh, everybody, this is Roosevelt Collier and band. Uh, these guys these guys are here tonight in the city uh, at La Pouzon Rouge down in the village. Uh, doors open at 7, so check them out down there. If you're not in New York uh, or can't get here fast enough, uh, the website is roosevelttedoctor.com. The dr.com. It's actually like right if you look at uh, the, the, the pedal steel, just, just all you got to do is draw com on there, and you got the whole website. Um, or you can also go to uh, groundupmusic.net for uh, all kinds of info and good stuff. Um, so, guys, the record is called uh, Exit 16. came out in March. Everyone go pick that up and uh, check out these guys live because clearly it's something to see, man. Um, so, uh, guys, thank you so much for coming to Paste, playing in our black box for us today. And uh, I hope you guys come back and play for us again, all right? Yep. Thank you so much, man. All right, thank you.